Welcome to Electron Line. In our quest to understand first order differential equations, we now have come to what we call the linear form of the first order differential equation. And the linear form is written as follows. It's y prime, which stands for dy dx, plus some function of x times y equals some other function of x. Now there's two forms of this. You can either have the homogeneous form of that equation or the non-homogeneous form. This in itself is already the non-homogeneous form where the right side, on the right side of the equal sign, we do have a function of x, so r is not equal to zero. On the left side, notice that when r sub x, or r of x, I should say not sub x, but r of x is equal to zero, then we call this a homogeneous equation, and then the equation looks like this, y prime plus some function of x times y is equal to zero. Now, this type of the, uh, this form of the equation is a little bit more difficult to solve and we'll show you some examples on how to do that and we'll show you the technique. This one is rather easy to solve so this has a rather simple solution and let's go ahead and show you what that simple solution looks, looks like. So this can be written as dy dx so we can say dy dx plus some function of x times y is equal to zero. Now I take this term and move to the right side the equal sign, so this becomes dy dx is equal to the negative of the function of x times y. Now we can kind of do what we call the separation of variables. We can put all the y's on the left side, all the x's on the right side, so this becomes dy divided by y is equal to minus the function of x times dx. So now we can integrate both sides of the equation. We can integrate the left side, we can integrate the right side. So this becomes the natural log of y is equal to, now this here is going to become, uh, well, we can't, since we don't know what the function of x is, we simply write it like this, the negative of the function of x times dx. Of course, when we integrate that, we will also have an integration factor plus c. So we can't forget the plus c, but we don't know what the function is, so we can't actually integrate it yet. Now what we can do here is we can write both sides of the equation as the exponent of the natural number e. So we can write this as e raised to the natural log of y. In other words, what we're doing here is taking the antilog of both sides. And here this can be written as e to the minus integral of f of x times dx plus some constant of integration. Let's just call it c1 so we can simplify it later. Now, of course, we realize that this will negate. So from here, we end up with, on the left side, y is equal to e to the negative integral of f of x times dx plus some constant of integration. Now, of course, we realize that this can be written as y is equal to e to the minus integral of f of x dx times e to raised to the constant. And of course, e raised to any constant is simply another constant, so this can then be simplified as y is equal to c, where c is equal to e raised to the c1 times e to the negative integral of f of x times dx. And this then becomes the general solution of the homogeneous form of the linear first order differential equation. So again, if we have a differ differential equation that looks like this, but if r is equal to zero, so you have a zero on the right side, the equal sign, then we have the homogeneous form for which we can find a fairly straightforward general solution. So depending upon what the, the function of x is, we simply plug it in here, integrate that, that becomes the exponent of e, which will then become the solution to the differential equation. So, and in a later video, we will also show you how to find the solution to the non-homogeneous form of that equation. But at least, this is a nice introduction to the linear form of the first order differential equation. That's how it's done.